everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is Michelle with Creative Operation and Country Craft Creations. I have my fourth and final design team project using the Heartfelt Creations Rustic Sunflower Paper Collection. And I'm going to do a share video with you, walk you through what I did and what I was thinking. But these were all leftovers from my previous three projects. And I had a little bit left over and I wanted to, to try and you know, do something else with it. So I was like looking at what I had left over, the tags and everything. And I thought, well, I'm going to make it like a mixed page album and kind of utilize all of the different pieces that I had left over. And I'll show you what I did. And it turned out really adorable, I think. Um, on the, the, the Graphic 45 tags that I used in my design team package had a ring that I never used. So I got that. And then I had one left over from a previous uh, package of tags. So I used that and created, you know, the, the binding for this. So it's just a simple punch a hole and thread it through the, the book rings. I did make a tassel with leftover seam binding that I had from previous kits and projects and things and I just went through my little stash and got that and I did a little bit of twine in here and then I had a little bee that I had from my stash um, that I had left over that I wanted to use and then this little tassel kind of bell that I um, attached it with so I just created a very simple tassel to kind of decorate the ring on the front cover I had one of the Prima frames left over and you as you recall on my first video I used that on the frame of my book well I had one more left over the package comes with three and I decided to use it again as a uh, frame for the front of this little album and I thought it turned out really adorable so what I did was I took it apart I used a little bit of pattern paper on the inside I backed it with some green and brown artisan cardstock and then in my stash, I had this kind of orange yellow uh, paper that I thought matched the collection really well. So um, it was a little bit thin, though. It's not like artisan cardstock. So I just folded it in half and then sandwiched this piece of artisan cardstock in there to create the holes so that I could put it on the binding. On the back of it, I put uh, summer ivory cardstock for a photo mat. And then one of the labels here, I just cut it down a little bit on the sides and created a little pocket. I just glued it on three sides, added one of the flowers that was left over, and then one of the little tags that was in the collection with the button and the twine. The buttons are from Country Craft Creation. Um, I used one in the middle of this sunflower too with a little bit of the green twine from my stash. Um, and I just thought that would look pretty cute, so I did that. This here is one of the um, cut aparts. And remember, if you remember in my other videos, I had mentioned that these tags, there are all kinds of different sizes. And so, you know, some of them were regular, like six by six and some weren't. And it was just kind of um, a weird assortment of sizes, which was kind of fun to work with because, you know, you don't normally have like varying sizes all over the place. So I just took what I had and I kind of backed them with uh some cardstock, either the green or the brown. And then on the back sides of all of them, I put the summer ivory paper. And then I all those fussy cuts that I did in the previous um, videos that I shared with you, I just kind of went through, layered them on, um, and didn't like completely glue this one down like it's a double one that you know to give to mention to it so the front has this beautiful design and then the back has a photo frame and on this one I did glue it all the way down because of all the little parts and pieces but you have a still have a nice place here the ladybugs came from my collection I had those in my stash and I used all the rest that I had for this particular book so it turned out pretty cute and then the other thing in um one of my last tutorials I took some graphic 45 tags and cut them apart and shortened them. Well, I kept the pieces and on this one, I just layered two of the bottom pieces together, glued it on three sides to make a pocket. And then another one of the little tags from the collection um, can go in the pocket. So again, I did the button with the twine and then I got some flowers with the leaves and that was in my design team package as well. Um, those were Prima flowers that I had in my package. So on the back of this, again, I used some green um, cardstock, um, artisan cardstock, and then I have the summer ivory mat for photo. Another flower and some of the leaves that came in. Now, there was also uh, tags that were left over, so I used this one here. I backed it on yellow and then a uh, photo mat on the back with the ladybugs and everything. Here was another one of the tags, and uh, again, layered the flowers, and then on the back, 
I have um, this and then this cut apart I did leave so that you could tuck a picture underneath it and added one of my ladybugs here. Now this page here was um, kind of interesting because I had a little bit of pattern paper left over. Um, I think I had like one full sheet of pattern paper left over. And so what I did with that was I created two pockets with that. Um, then in this pocket here, I took the very last graphic 45 tag that I had, I folded it up, glued it on the sides to create a pocket, and then put two of the tags on the inside. And then those are just backed with the cardstock here. Um, left the back of that blank. And then I used a circle punch just to punch a hole and set that there. This here is one of the cut apart, or cut aparts, one of the pieces that I fussy cut out and I layered another sunflower on there. And then I just created a little photo mat to kind of tuck in that spot. So I had enough to make two of these pockets. On the back, again, the mat with the fussy cutting. Here's another one of the tags. Okay, so you can see how I utilized just what was left over and I just created kind of this mixed up page album, but I used all of these little parts and pieces that were left over from the kit. It had these little teeny tiny tags. Um, so I took one of the tickets, glued it on two sides, made a little tag pocket here and there's a lot of room for pictures here. Here's the second pocket that I made. Um, again, I used uh, the pail and I just left the pail plain because I just thought that was really pretty. Ladybug here and then another photo map opportunity here. And in here, I created a tag out of leftover cardstock, used one of the cut aparts and just trimmed it so it fit the tag shape. And on the back, I left that plain. And that just tucks in the pocket like so. And then, again, another photo mat opportunity. And then the flower here to tuck a picture under. And then this is my last page. And when I first did it, this is a six by six page. So I put it on a piece of six and a quarter by six and a quarter cardstock. Um, decorate it with the leftover flowers, little ladybug. And then the back I had blank with, um, I matted it with the yellow and then some summer ivory, but I didn't like it because it was just like, eh, I don't know about having a photo on the back side of an album. So what I decided to do was create a little gusseted pocket and I utilized the very little scraps that I had left over here and did that. And then I did um, the matting for the pocket here with the patchwork technique, um, kind of herringbone style as I did it. Um, to cover that because I just flat didn't have enough to cover that. And then on the inside, I had these tags from my stash and they're just plain tags. I cut them down to fit. And then I tied these little tags that I fussy cut from the collection um, to them with the twine and then added the stamps on the front. You could tuck a picture underneath there. And on the backs of these, I used the little labels. And again, those are set so that you could tuck a picture behind and they just have little labels on the back. So made three of those tags and they turn out adorable, I think. And then those just go in the pocket. And it's just a very simple gusseted pocket. I did add a magnet from my stash. And so that is how I finished it. Um, and that's my album. So this is just a share. It's just a leftover mixed page scrap buster. Um, if you just can't get rid of your scraps and you have, you know, like too much to throw away, but they're not quite enough to do a whole project with. This is something that you could do. You could kind of do a mixed size page um, album. I've done this before with um, tags, with different tag sizes and things like that. But this one here was using the different cut apart. So I just think it turned out really cute. So that is um, kind of my share for today. So a way to use up the tags, make a really simple um, but beautiful album. And then this would be a great little um, quick gift to give to somebody. You could make these up and kind of keep them off to the side. And then when the occasion arises, then you can pick one out in the, in the um, you know, theme that's appropriate for the gift. And, um, you know, there it is. Boom, you're done. So that's my my share. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. And I will be back soon with more tutorials with another paper collection because this one is done. <laughs> I am done. <laughs> I don't have hardly anything left. I can't do anything with it. So... <laughs>
But I'll tell you what, I do have a few little bits and pieces. So if I figure something out, I'll let you know. Okay. I'll talk to you later and um, like, and subscribe and you'll get notified when I have more tutorials ready for you. So thanks for watching. Please visit Country Craft Creations at countrycraftcreations.com. They have all kinds of heartfelt creations, papers, dyes, stamps, you name it, and they have so much more. Check it out. You'll love it. If you haven't been there, you will absolutely love it. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great crafty day. Bye-bye.